In today's video, we will learn how to perform virtual machine replication on Microsoft Hyper-V. Virtual machine replication allows you to recover or run your VMs on another Hyper-V server. Hyper-V replication is crucial for ensuring high availability and disaster recovery in virtualized environments. By replicating VMs to another Hyper-V server, you create a backup that can be quickly activated if the primary server fails, minimizing downtime and ensuring business continuity. Additionally, replication provides flexibility in workload management and enhances overall system reliability. Hello, welcome to Installer Guru, where installation is made easy for you. You can see I have two Hyper-V servers connected under the Hyper-V Manager each running different virtual machines. Also, you can connect multiple Hyper-V servers under this Hyper-V Manager to manage your VMs. First, we will right-click on the top menu and add replication columns to see the current replication status. Some of our VMs are already being replicated and you can observe their current status, normal, warning, or critical. Now, I am going to replicate one of our VMs, which has not been replicated yet, onto our other server. Remember to check the Hyper-V settings before starting replication. On the left-hand menu of the Hyper-V Manager, you can check the Hyper-V settings by right-clicking. In the Settings menu, you will find all the settings related to the selected Hyper-V server. Here you can configure Hyper-V disk and machine location settings, live migration policies and performance settings. Under the Replication menu, you will find the option How do you want to communicate with the next Hyper-V server? In this demo, I am using the HTTP protocol, but you can also opt for HTTPS for encryption during replication. You can set the storage path for VM replication here as well. Now, we are ready to start the replication process. Right-click on the VM that you want to replicate to the next Hyper-V server Click on Enable Replication to initiate the replication wizard. First, select the replication server's name, then choose the connection type and protocol, followed by selecting the VM disk and setting the replication frequency. We recommend a 15-minute frequency for optimal Hyper-V server performance. In the additional recovery points, you can configure recovery points for the VM and set the frequency of volume shadow copy services VSS snapshots to enhance data security for your VMs. Next, choose the replication method and timeline based on your preferences and start the replication to the next Hyper-V server. The replication process will take some time to complete. You can now see that our replication has started on the servers. That's all for now. Thanks for your time with us. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel.